ruined his career, and forced him to make great B movies. He could have done a lot better for had to for you and your buddies in the FBI. So. I mean, it's true. Hoover, he deserved everything he got. Hoover, <laughs> he deserved everything he got. Yeah, you know, let me tell you a little about JX, because one thing uh, the audience may not know, you might not even get from that crummy file, is that um, you know, he was tied, he got unwittingly tied up as uh, being a communist. And uh, he was blacklisted. This was the late 40s. And uh, what ended up happening then was that he um, you know, was blacklisted and couldn't work anymore. And that's why he started making pornography, because he couldn't work in Hollywood. That was his only choice, was to make these porn films. And you know, they might have been lousy porn films, but I mean, he did the best he can. And some of these things in the early 50s were really fun, because he, he was really the first guy who did like the porn parody film. Like he made, uh, you know, things like Dick of a Salesman, or a Streetwalker Named Desire. You know, he had this funny dialogue and stuff like that, you know. It's like, you know, people don't realize it. I, I think before anybody, he was the originator of the porn parody film. And so, oh, parody. Um, oh, parody. You know, he did this for a long time. Yeah, the mob bankrolled his movies. And uh, that actually got him an even hotter water with the FBI because, first of all, the FBI was already paying attention to him because they thought he was a communist. This movie was obsessed with communism. But then secondly, um, they began to um, keep track of him because he was hanging out with mobsters like Sam Giancana. And it freaked out Hoover so much that he actually started this investigation called Operation Red Mobster. And they had a great logo for it. It was like a lobster, but instead of claws, it had hammers and sickles like the Soviet flag. And he was absolutely obsessed that somehow the mafia was tied up with the Communist Party and that they were going to take over the United States together. Just completely preposterous sort of crap. Do you think they wouldn't have if they had the chance? I mean, it was so ridiculous. Apparently, this is what JX told me, they actually started a file on, on, on Antonio Gramsci, Italian Marxist theoretician. That was like their best lead for like, you know, the mafia communist connection. And the guy had already been dead for five years when they started the file on him. And that shows you how much these guys were on top of stuff. So what can I say? I don't know. You so guys that's... really think there was a mafia communist connection? I'm not a liberty to decide. Oh, come on. That's like a monstrous. Yeah.